Good evening, this is the Mr. Kitten. My name is Michelle, and we're going to carry on with the You versus Them for April 2021. Please like, subscribe, and share the channel so we can reach a broader audience. Thank you to all my subscribers. I'm so grateful to all of you, and I cannot wait to see where this little channel goes this year. So up next is Taurus. Taurus, I will be reading you on this side and your person on this side for the purposes of this video. Flip it, flop it, toss it, turn it, take it any way you want it. But if it does not resonate, leave it and I'll catch you in another video. All right. Let's see how you view this union. How does Taurus feel about the union? How do they view this union? One more card, please. And how does Taurus this person feel? Perfect, thank you. All right, Taurus, you pulled, oh shit. Perfect work, four of wands, the hermit and the king of pentacles. I feel like this is definitely like a long-term marital um, cohabitation type of relationship. Um, but you feel alone in it. You're very lonely and you feel like you only have your own throne to sit on and count your pentacles while the other party is kind of absent. Whether it's absent emotionally or maybe they go away to work or whatever the case is, if you there's a very... Um, there's like a longing, like a need for companionship. They view this relationship as valor, the seven of wands, the wheel of fortune and the lovers. So I feel like they think that you're definitely um, the one for them. They chose you because they feel like you, you are that, you know, that wheel of fortune, you're that wish come true. But they feel like they're constantly having to fight for fight for it, or like it's a it's a battle. So I feel like you both feel quite lonely within this relationship. All right. How does how does Taurus view this person? How does Taurus feel this view this person? Thank you. And how does this person view Taurus? <laughs> how does this person view Taurus? Come on, one more card. <laughs> Don't just give me that one. One more card. One more card, please, on how this person views Taurus. Thank you very much. Oh, see, here's that Wheel of Fortune again. Or the world. Okay. You view them as the five of wands and the three of cups. So it's like, of all the people I chose, I chose you. And I feel like I chose right. You feel like that was the right choice to make, but you also feel like they don't really understand how many offers were on the table and how many different ways you could have gone. And they don't appreciate the fact that like, I chose you. I didn't have to. I wanted to. I wanted to choose you, and I did. And you you don't see that. <laughs> How they view you. The world. And, and the Ace of Wands. So the reason I'm laughing, this is the Lover's Romance deck, okay? Like... If you a boy, you, you that male's energy, you got like, you got that, you got that D game on lockdown. And if you's a woman, mm -mm, you know how to, you know how to work it, work, 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 work. Like the sex is good. Like, mm, the sex is good. And that's, that's what it's about. That's what keeps them coming back. That's like, oh, in all the world, I've never had a lover like you. I can't let that go. And it could be that 
they've never experienced intimacy on the same level as they get it with you. It could just be that the sex is that good. Like it could be a very superficial thing and it could be a very intimate thing. I, I'm pulling energy of both. So, you know, you take it how it resonates for you, but all right. And if they could say one thing to you, or if they could say something to you, what would it be? If Taurus's person could say something to them, what would it be? No, that's too many. Take that one, not those ones. All right. Your lover's oracle acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things that, as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. And... If they could say one thing to you, they would say, I choose love no matter what. They do love you very much. I think they just, they're a physical person, right? They show it through, through affection and through sex and through intimacy. And maybe that's just not something that you completely understand. And that's where you have to understand that you can't change that that sort of love language, but you can teach them how to speak yours so that you feel just as loved as they do within the union. All right, Taurus, I hope that this meets you with love and light. I hope that April is absolutely amazing to you. And until we meet again, blessed be.